Hey Charmers, Ray Lexi here, and you are watching Fluent and Charm. So today I am here to talk about the, my top five apps for production. The first one that I want to talk about is Eve, which is a period tracker. Um, I really like Eve because it treats your period like it's something normal, which it is something normal. And here you can take a look at the cycle scope. It tells you how you should be feeling that day or it's okay to feel the way you are. There's also a community here on Eve uh, where you can talk about different things like a horrific por uh, period story or something that's going on in your life. I like the aspect of it as being like a social media app, but about your period. So you even get a profile. Um, I also like that the app syncs to the health app on my phone, which is an iPhone. I like this other period tracker called My Days. I've been using this all the way from back in the day. I've used this for years, and this was probably one of the first period trackers that I've ever used. Um, I really like it because it's quick, it's simple, it's to the point. You can track whether you took your pill, if you've had sex that day, if you used protect protection. It's really a great app for that. Another production app that I like to use is Google Keep, which is a note-taking app. What I like about this app is it's quick, it's simple. Like I've also been using this one for a few years as well. Um, so I've got some old notes here that I probably need to clean up. But I really like it because, like I said, it's quick. See, you just click here, you input your note, you can even add a title to that note. Um, it's also really fun. You can change the colors. You can highlight things, add labels, add pictures. You can even share it with different people who have Google, which is pretty much everyone. You have to have a login, right? Um, but it's, it's a really great tool to use for note-taking. Another great app I like to use for production is... My Reminder app, it's another quick note-taking app. It's included on the iPhone. Um, I like it because you can see your lists and it just shows the titles alone. Uh, you can color coordinate the titles. I prefer Keep sometimes, but Reminder is great for grocery lists. I also have My Drive, which I like to use for typing up things, like instead of using office like windows office or anything i like to use drive it's free it has a huge storage anybody with the google account can use it um all through college i've used this and it's great because you can pull it up on your phone or even on your computer so i really like that aspect of it another production app that i like to use is called pocket um, this is a great app for when you see something that you really want to read but you don't have time so you can go ahead and add it to your pocket and go back to it. Um, it has a little profile. I don't really do much on it except read the past things. If you want to look up something that you've had, you just click the magnifying glass and type in what you want. So say for example, I want to look up old recipes that I found online. So I type in food, maybe Gabriel's acting up or something and I want to see a great parenting tip that I would like to go ahead and try with Gabriel. It's just a really great tool for looking at old things that you probably couldn't look at at the time, which everyone has a hectic schedule, so this would probably be great for you, I would say. Um, another app that I like to use for production is my handy dandy calendar. A calendar is your best friend. I literally have a calendar for everything. I probably have a calendar in every single room. It may not be filled right now. It may not be filled later. But it's always a great tool to use for later events. Especially on your phone. You can add a quick new event here. Uh, see, new event. You can have it for all day. You can input how long it's going to last. Uh, if you need it to repeat. I just really love the calendar app on the iPhone. Um, you can pretty much use any calendar app. Like I know there's an iCalendar um, app for, I believe, Android. You can try that out. Um, but see how easy adding this new event was. It's just really handy when you just want to go ahead and add something new to your schedule. Because who's not busy, right? Haha. <laughs> anyway... 
So I hope all those tips were really helpful for you and you become very productive with using these apps. Thank you for checking out Fluent and Charm, where Alexa is out. Bye guys. Must be something.